All right, hello, hello. Um, using my regular voice, a little stuffy, but um, you know, I did put some text in there as you looking at right now and stuff, but I just figured I'd uh, you know, talk about it. You know, firstly, we're gonna start with the copy move from another uh move set. Um, and I copied the special electric, you know, the one that has really good pushback and stuff on Devil Gin. All right. What a move consists of is, you know, the hit, then like the hurt animation, since you're copying, and also the guard animation. And we'll get into that uh, later on in this video. Let's see, what was I doing right now? Okay, so yeah, that's that's the move copied over. You know, I already, you know, copied it over for time's sake so you guys don't have to watch all of the loading and buffering and stuff. Let's see what we on. Oh yeah, that SDW up zero one. That is the hurt animation. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is like there was I believe one maybe like one move not move one animation that Jin didn't have like regular Jin he didn't have in his um move set but outside of that one um Jin has all of the other reactions that are in Devil Jin's um hurt hurt animation hurt animation as you can see to my left i am looking to match it up because you know if you use the copy copy pasted over ones that you got from um devil gin's move set then you'll have to be filling out the cancel list on that and that'll make it very tedious it's a lot less tedious if you know you just put in you know the, you know, the moves that already are existing and coded into the character Yeah, we're just gonna do this for a little bit. Let's see what I'm talking about now. Like me doing this voiceover, like I've done the voiceover like days after I recorded it. Cause just like my my job has just it's it's taking up all of my time in a day. I can't, you know, do cool shit like this. But yeah, that's me talking about you know this right now sorry if it's a little redundant but I, I felt i should probably give a voiceover you know just for a little clarity in case anybody get lost yeah that ukimi yeah ko ukimi whatever it says yeah jen jen got that too that's just just the generic you know yeah i think yeah i think this might be the uh custom you know I think this might be one of the custom animations that Jen doesn't have in his tool set, but I don't think so. I think I will eventually find it. You know, it just takes a little digging. You know, they're usually in the same kind of place. You know, maybe not the exact same because every character is different. Even Panda and Kuma, would you believe it or not? Even they're different. Like certain moves don't like hit the same and um you know reach you in the same way yeah most of this video is um just me doing the manual grunt work of you know finding finding the moves but in doing this um i'm pretty sure that if you do this you can also give tag two characters tail spins like i'm i'm pretty certain that if you follow this same process that you can give uh tag two characters tail spins and stuff because that's that's really why i made this to to like just test my theory to see if it was true you know like there was no instruction books I'm the only one making tutorials because I I just want to make it easier. I just want to make it easier for folks who want to, you know, 
try their hand at modding, but like nobody's really talking about the moveset modding. Whenever I looked online, you know, there there was nobody. It was just it was just a Discord that I just happened to find. You know, and I was like, "Hey guys, um why aren't you making any tutorials on YouTube so you know you don't have these frequently asked questions?" You know, believe it or not, like this this video I'm making about giving Jin, uh, electric wind god fist. This was actually a question somebody had, or uh, whatever. And then you know, I had an idea on how it worked, but I didn't know, you know, precisely if it would. And after doing this, I learned it did. Uh, we got about like three. Three more reactions to find. Like, you know, the video is supposed to be longer than this. Um, like, without my outro, the video was like 20, 22 minutes. But I sped up this little section right here that you're seeing. It was 16, condensed it down to 11. All right, we wrapping it up on. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, we're wrapping it up on. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, the hurt reaction. To make sure it doesn't crash. And uh, yeah, be sure to, you know, load it. Load it after you make your changes and uh, save. Well, yeah, for sure. Save all that grunt work that we just did. Which one was I missing? Uh, let's see if I remember. Air up. Uh, w and DM air up. Matter of fact, I think I did find this one. Yeah, never mind. I'll find a move like you to. Yeah, see, look at that. Success. Air up, 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 up. All right. Save, save, save. It was very manual. It's a headache. Let's see, what are we on to next? It's kind of weird. I'm like doing a commentary. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah, the uppercut, you know, make sure uh, he returns into the neutral, the 32769. Because, yeah, that, that'll that crash your game, too. You know, if you don't put in the, the default return to normal stance, if you leave it at that negative one, you know. Leave that that negative one that it defaults has, that'll crash your game. And um, if you know you don't have the proper hit reaction programmed into there, that'll crash the game. And also, pretty much anything true ogre right arm related will crash the game. Yeah. Yeah, thank goodness that this portion is only, you know, just two cancels. Easy breezy, beautiful Cosma girl. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so what I'm doing right here is I'm placing in the DP that I transferred over and you know the hurt animation. I'm making sure it goes to that. 
instead of Jin's regular, you know, electric wind hook fist. Yeah, I hadn't uh, I hadn't accommodated for this right here. See, I paused because I felt stupid looking at that. But yeah, there you go. We got the, you know, got the hurt reaction working just fine. Um, they do launch a little far, but granted, you know, that's because that kind of electric was meant to be later in the animation, I believe. But outside of that, you know, works like works like normal. Is me just trying to, you know, see how comboable it is and stuff. But not too long trying to, you know, focus on the tutorial. Yeah, at first, you know, I didn't understand why he started going into an infinite. Because I had this problem before and I... Uh, I I kind of fixed it. Um, I only kind of fixed it because I put on a forced a forced move requirement, you know, to make it have the reaction that I wanted. But yeah, yeah, I'm working working to go past that, you know, to have a real fix, you know. We will be right back after these messages. This should be a simple fix. As regular gin. Oh yeah, this is after. This is an edit. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, th this is a edit after I've you know fooled around and tried to do some more requirement force move kind of stuff. You know. Let me see. I think I think that's what nah, this ain't it. This isn't after I figured that out. This was me doing something else. And he's he's still going to do the weirdo stuff. Like just give it a minute. Oh yeah, this was me trying to god dang find find a proper guard animation, I think. Yeah, to get that cancel list right. Yeah, that's the one. The uh, electric wind hook fist, you know, perfect version. That's what that was. And I'm like, okay, we're going to get that cancel. Get that cancel index right, boy. Yes, be canceling the the cancel index from you know regular gens um electric wind hook fish pushback. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna call but canceling DX passing the guard animation. My typing skills are a little trash. I ain't speed up this section. I probably should have, could have condensed this video, but I mean, we here now, like, I'm at the 13, 13 minute mark, 40 some seconds, so we, we just gonna thug it out. Yeah, load it in, load it in. I gotta get my racks up. I wonder what the interest is on the business credit line. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So, what happened here was um, off camera, I put on a force move requirement to try and, you know, fix the infinite, infinite key charge thing. And um, that didn't quite work out. And um, I put in the proper guard cancel now, but it's also doing the force move thing. So what I'm going to do after this jump cut is I took off the requirement of the force move that I put on there. And um, after that, it works fine. 
All right, boom, we're back just like that in a flash. Fix the, uh, remove the force move requirement. And now it's going to work like new as it should for you. I'm back again. It works just fine. I just had forgotten. You know, I ain't need to do no voiceover. Now that I think about it, I I feel like explain everything pretty solidly now that I'm um, watching it over for the first time in my life. Boom. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Neutral on block, baby. All right. This is where I'm going to cut off my recorder.